Good morning, guys. It is day two on the Camino Primitivo, and look who's joining me today. Ruben from the Salvador. It's his last day. He's gonna walk a little further than me. I'm going to Salas. It's gonna be like what, like a 22, 23 kilometer day? Yeah, we'll see about that. We got a huge climb, 300 meters up ahead, and then from there, I think it's kind of like a steep descent all the way into town. Well, doing the climb already, not too bad, especially when you have a great company and you're just talking about different Caminos. It eases the pain, it numbs the mind, and uh, soon we'll be at the top, at the summit of today's uh, climb. Check out the fog, man. Incredible. You know what this means, right? It's gonna be hot, hot, hot today, man. I think it's gonna get as high as it did yesterday into like the mid, 80s or 90s we'll see today at the albergue people were waking up at 4 30 incredible i guess they must be getting close already to the albergue today that's not what i came here for i want to see as much as possible i don't want to walk in the dark So once uh, we made it to the El Alto de Fresno, there was a large group of Americans from uh, Michigan that I met yesterday at a bar, and we all had a group conversation there. More pilgrims arrived. And as you can see, the day is just extremely cloudy. So, you know, no views right now, but you gotta take it as it comes. I can see already the next town up ahead in the distance in between the, the mist. Let's see when it's gonna lift. I can see already patches of blue sky and you know for sure it's gonna warm up. I've been walking with the Spaniards today. It has made the, the climb a lot easier. There was a moment there when it got very steep and I just started sweating. Didn't I tell you that the mist was about to dissipate? Well, right now, all I see is blue skies and I can feel the sting from the sun already. But at least we're walking through uh, the first village of the day, no uh, pilgrim support. And right now we're entering the woods and I can hear the river in the distance. Tengo un amigo que partió de este lugar Para cruzar el universo, el espacio, explorar Un intrépido gatito que un viaje fue a embarcar Con sus seis vidas restantes donde nadie fue jamás Su gatera verde tomó por nave espacial Y a los astronautas suele ir a visitar Y cuenta estrellas a través del ventanal Acurrucado se y laica En los anillos de Saturno suele ir a acampar 
a tumbarse al solecito, a ronronear. Y en cada galaxia le saluda. So leaving the small town of uh, Cornellana, after crossing over the river, walking through the streets, we found a bar and we had to have a caña and a pincho. And look what's behind me right now by the monastery of San Salvador. It has an albergue, so you can stay there if you please. They're also having a race today because it's just uh, full of people and they have like the finish line and a clock there ticking away. Of course, leaving the town, what do we have? but a massive climb. The second climb of the day, <laughs> let us start. So here we are guys, we're at the Fuente de Santiago, the perfect spot for a quick break from the scorching sun. We were just walking in the open fields with no shade in sight. And just past the church, we came across this uh, bath where I got to uh, dip my feet in the cold water, refill my water bottle and share some uh, chit chat with my friends here that were uh, hanging out in this, uh, in this uh, rest area. So right now we have four kilometers to town. So I guess this will be the last push <sighs> I think it's time to take out the umbrella. What do you think? Last push, last push from uh, being exposed in the plains to the safety of the canopy, but with a little bit of a climb. You can't have it all, man. You gotta pick your battles. I will take this one over a flat terrain with no covers. A 
after having the lunch uh, menu at Casa Sueño, where I'm gonna be staying today, it's a private albergue, great, new. It has like an open window so you can look out. So far, it's only like three pilgrims. I did my laundry and it's hanging right now outside in the, in the patio. I say goodbye to Ruben. He's heading back home to Barcelona because he's a singer and he has a band and there's a concert that he has to attend. So right now it's just a waiting game until the sun comes down. I wanna go see, explore a little bit the town, this medieval town with the tower and the church and see what he has to offer. Right now I'm walking by the river, as you can see here. And uh, tomorrow it's gonna be a short day because the day after that is when we had to climb the biggest section of the Camino Primitivo and I'm just looking forward to that because we have great weather so far. Tomorrow is not gonna be as hot as today, but you know, who knows. Well guys, that's it for uh, today's video. After enjoying a good uh, meal, I'm gonna call it a day because, you know, I'm beat. I wanna go to sleep early, maybe trying to beat the tomorrow's heat and leave uh, a little bit earlier. Thank you guys so much, especially all the trail angels. Here's the list. All you guys are the ones responsible for this uh, videos. You, in a way, are kind of like the sponsors. So I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. I guess I'll see you all tomorrow, bright and early.